I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to sketch graph of cos inverse cos x. Now, let me remind you that cos x is a periodic function, which could be sketched something like this. Now, to find the inverse of cos x, we actually restrict the domain between 0 to pi. So to find inverse, we have 1 to 1 cos x function if and only if x is between 0 to pi. So we restrict the domain between these two points. And now this particular function becomes 1 to 1 function and therefore we can find its inverse. So the standard method is to restrict the domain of cosine function from 0 to 2 pi. 0 to pi. Now within this interval cos inverse of cos x since it is 1 to 1 function will be equal to x. Correct. Now, if I have to sketch cos inverse x, let me do it in the first domain, 0 to pi first. So, at 0, it is going to be 0, and at pi, its value will be pi. Let's say this line represents pi for us. Okay. So, so I could say that the graph of the function is kind of like this. From 0 to at pi it is pi. Now what happens when you are working in the interval let's say minus pi to 0. So if you are in the interval minus pi to 0 then what happens? Well in this particular interval from minus pi to 0 it should be negative value, right? So what you could do here is that if I multiply by negative to all these numbers, then it becomes pi greater than or equal to x minus x, right? I'm multiplying by negative greater than or equal to 0 or I could write this as 0 less than or equal to minus x less than or equal to pi. So what has happened here is that the value has become minus x. So for the second interval, which is from minus pi to 0, I could write cos inverse of cos x equals to minus x. So it will be at minus pi, the value minus of minus pi will be positive. So this graph will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So I could write this as y equals to minus x here and y equals to x on the other side. You're getting an idea, right? So similarly, we could work in the other intervals. So now you could take interval from pi to 2 pi, for example, right? So in this interval, pi to 2 pi, you will find that cos inverse of cos x is equal to 2 pi minus x. So the graph will be kind of parallel to this, right? So it will be like this. So that is how you are going to see the graph of cos inverse cos x. So it will vary between 0 to pi as shown in the particular diagram. So you could also calculate in the other regions which should be kind of like this parallel to this line. So that is how you could reproduce it. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.